Welcome to this episode of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to te test out the new clone battery and see how it does. So we got a ship out there, so we're going to go ahead and fly it. So I'm got, I've got 10 satellites. I've got 94% charge, uh, which is rather interesting. So I'm going to start the video. I'm going to launch the copter. Takeoff is okay. And... See, take off. All right, I'll get the button pressed. So we, we got it up. Let's do a quick walk around, make sure everything is good. Everything looks pretty good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it, uh, we're gonna take it up and out. Now, since this is a this is a new battery, and I'm sort of experimenting with it, I'm not going to get too brave distance-wise with this thing. It is over the water, so if it does go down, it is going in the drink. Uh, but what I'm watching for is depletion time to see how the depletion is. Now, one of the interesting things is is, is right out of the get-go, I started at 94 percent, and I'm now down to 90 percent. At one point, uh, basically a minute and a half. So I want to watch the discharge rate because right now the discharge rate seems to be a little bit faster. It actually seems to be faster than the um, standard battery. So we'll just kind of keep watching. Uh, because out of flight times, so I'm getting probably w well within operating range. 12 to 15 minutes of flight time. So again, I just want to kind of keep this close. I'm going to hover. Now, in fairness, there is a pretty good wind. This is fighting a pretty good wind, so it's hard to tell exactly. Now, I'm down to 87%. One of the things I forgot to do is start the video recording. So you can watch the screen, too. So uh, I've got screen recording going on. And I've got it sitting hovering out there. And I'm just gonna just keep it hovering, watching the ship. And kind of watch to see how battery depletion goes. So the ship's headed down. So across the set of buoys up here at the entrance to the lake, there's another set of buoys down there, uh, as I mentioned before in another video. And so, uh, long story short, you know, the ship's headed down, down lake or into the river, as we call it. So, again, we're hovering right out here. I can see the copter plainly. Uh, again, I just want to kind of keep it in relative sight. Just kind of checking around me for people. Everything seems to be pretty good. So, uh, just cruising around out there. Again, I don't want to get too crazy with the battery. So, we're at roughly uh, three minutes three and a half minutes and we're at 81 percent not too bad I I'm fully expecting this battery is going to discharge probably a little bit faster than the you know full price D uh, DJI battery um, it, but I'm okay be with that you know so long as I'm getting you know 12 to 15 minutes of flight time and that's really what I'm out here doing now again I've got to to qualify this I've got a, it's fighting about a 10 mile an hour headwind right now to hold this position out there so um, so it's probably not a hugely fair test uh, of it um, you know, again, because it's working a lot harder to do this versus a calm day. So right now I'm at four minutes at about 76%. So um, I, I'm dropping time-wise a little bit faster, but again, cavity about a 10 mile an hour wind. Now I just flew a little while ago with the standard battery, and uh, I didn't drop roughly this fast. 
Um, so I think it is dropping just a little bit faster uh, than the stock battery would drop. And so we're just hanging around out there. Ship is going pretty much. Let's uh, pan around. You see now. You see the Blue Water Bridge. Blue Water Bridge down there, looking all pretty. Ship headed down that way again. I'm kind of sitting right out there. Um, about 36 meters off the deck. About 200 meters out. Nothing fantastic. Again, I want to kind of keep it a little bit close in because if I notice the battery dropping rapidly, I want to be able to bring it home real quick. Um, so I don't want it too far offshore. That's why I'm only going out about 200 meters to test this. So again, seems to be working working well. Uh, I'm now up to five minutes. I'm at about 70%. So just kind of hanging out there. Nothing big. You know, it is kind of a little bit windy day. Definitely a chilly day. Now, the other thing, I, other caveat I have to add to this is it's it's probably in the high 30s, low 40s. It's probably around 39 to about 42 degrees out here, believe it or not, here in Michigan in, in May. So, uh, very cold. That's why you look at this beach. It's basically empty uh, because it's freaking cold out here, folks. Um, so I'm now down to 68% and I've been up for about six minutes. So I'm headed down to 67%. So the cold's definitely going to play a little bit of a factor in how this battery performs or any battery performs. And so I'm just kind of yawning around here. Let's do a little bit of a yaw party for Norbert. I get the obligatory yaw party in. Now, one of the things, again, and I mentioned it in the last video, on, on the map it takes the little bird quite a bit of time to change orientation versus the actual yaw because you can probably see I've been yawing this and the bird hasn't changed any orientation. You know, when I'm talking about the little bird, the little, little lychee bird on the screen. So the little lychee bird, I think you see it right there. You can probably see it in the inset. So I yawed it around 360 degrees and basically he didn't turn anything. So the update on the map seems to be rather interesting now. As I mentioned in a prior video, I'm running, I hear a dog barking, I'm just kind of watching what's going on. So I'm running the Tab 3. Uh, so this is a brand new tablet. It's got a pretty decent processor in it, so I know processing isn't a problem. You notice where the bird is now pointing. I, I'm not highly sure that, that, that that's accurate because it's it says it, it's pointing. Now, look at the lag. I, I, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I just several minutes, literally minutes ago, yawed this thing and the map is now just catching up to it. I don't know if I quite like that or not. Um, let's see where it, let, let's see where it ends up. So it just because now it's facing straight out and I'm actually facing down this way. So uh, it's now come to the correct orientation, probably at least two minutes post post my yaw. So again, I'm now at seven and a half minutes. I'm now at about 58 um, percent. You know, I, I, I like to when I start hitting around 50 percent or so. I like being relatively close in, at least as close in as I am here now. So, uh, again, I'm just going to kind of let it uh, keep going. So, the depletion rate does not seem to be too bad. Uh, you know what I mean? So, it's not like dropping by percent, multiple percentages every minute. You know, in other words, 56, 52. So, that's what I was really concerned with, is I would get rapid drops uh, in depletion, and that's simply not happening. So, I think so far, I'd have to say I'm at eight minutes. 
NBA 55%. This is pretty close to a DJI battery. And again, a couple, couple things going against it. Good 10 mile an hour wind, it's buffeting. About 30 degrees, high 30s out here. Temperature is cold. Um, so, again, you know, I think those are negatives to the depletion cycle. However, I think against, I just before this flew another episode, the one where I tested the Architect antennas, which worked out great. And, um, you know, my depletion was a, seemed to be a little bit slower. Now, this is not a mathematical comparison. I think I was aloft for around 14 minutes or so. And, and I brought it down to, I think, around in the 30s uh, for that. Just kind of watching people around here on the beach yell at their dogs. They're not supposed to have the dogs on the beach anyway. But, uh, so, we're hanging around out there. And again, I'm still above, I'm at about 51. I'm at 8 minutes, almost 9 minutes of flight time. So, so far, I'm pretty happy. I can't, uh, I can't really complain about this. Um, except that it could be a little bit warmer out here today. That's the one thing I could probably complain about. But if it was, I think there'd be a lot more people out on the beach. So, uh just kind of have to live with it so that that's the bonus when I get these clear days and uh, it's a little bit cold I definitely head out to the beach because again as you see I have pretty much the whole thing to myself some people over there playing volleyball uh, kind of cold to play volleyball they even have shorts on I don't know about that um, so I'm now closing on 10 minutes of flight time I'm now closing in on 48 minutes So definitely pretty good. Again, I think I think on the last video I'd have to go back and check, and when I edit it and post, uh, I might make a note underneath here. Is I believe around 38, I was at about 14 minutes in this same flying condition. So I'm closing in on about 10 minutes, and I'm at 47, so about 10% away. So I might come out pretty close to that. Um, which would be interesting. So, again, it's hanging around real nice out there. Uh, no big problems. Now, one of the things I'm going to do while I'm just kind of killing time waiting for this to see, see where this goes is I am going to do a bigger review on these antennas and so to see how far I can get. So, the international border, the Canadian border, which I do not want to cross, is about uh, a little over half a mile out. And so I'm not going to go here, but what I want to do is go way up lake where it's like two miles out, and then I do, and then I want to do a range test with these guys. So something's beeping at this. It's never very good at telling me. I think I think it's giving me a low battery warning. So I'm at about 10 minutes, but I'm still at at 43 percent. So what I'm going to do, I don't know why it's beeping at me. Maybe because it is getting low. Uh, I think that must be a warning. So i got to see. Let's see. So now I've moved it. Let's see if the lychee bird moves. Let's see how long it takes the lychee bird to move. Hasn't moved yet. See, I'm not liking it that that lychee bird's not moving because I, I want it. I believe it's pointed back at me. So let's let's bring it back in a little bit closer. Bring it in closer, but uh... Yeah, let's see, I think I need to turn it back this way.
now. I think it's still to return to home now. Let's see. I'm at 35%. Yes, sir, really do, Bob. I'm at 12 minutes. And I'm having the same problem as the last time. Just making sure everything's clear. And it's a little close to that tree, but that should be okay. And now I just have to figure out how to end the video again. And we've set it down. So we've now landed. Another good, so now I don't want to watch the uh, video. I just want to get though. I think that's happened. So down to about 23%. A little bit less, I think, than, than the actual DJI battery. Uh, but not all bad, especially for the price. So I'm pretty happy with this battery. I'm definitely going to give it a thumbs up. And uh, hey, subscribe button's going to be coming up over there. Hit me up with comments below. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.